Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love, episode 48 to 49. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 15% of this episode or these two episodes. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do have all these reads without any sort of blurs and censorship, and you guys also gained early access to them. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. And also a disclaimer, I do read these to practice my English and my pronunciation. I do struggle with some words and sometimes I do not finish my words when I'm reading them. So I'm practicing on doing that, you know. So please be patient if I'm stuttering or if I'm going back or I'm trying to reread things. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Woo, that was a mouthful. Uh, no! Oh, uh, this can't be happening. There, there are people in here. No, uh, huh? Uh, it won't budge. Uh, immovable. Im what? Immovable. I don't even have my phone. I'm confiscated. Your phones, punks. Uh, but wait a minute. Where's Doa? Why is he so quiet? Why so nervous? Huh? And why are you just sitting there like this isn't happening to you too? <laughs> Doesn't he have to go to his part-time job? Is today his off day? I'm already late. My shit manager is probably freaking the hell out. When I go in the day after tomorrow, he's really gonna lay on me. Ugh, he's such a thug. Um, isn't he a thug too? You just thought to yourself, isn't he a thug too, didn't you? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I think you did. <laughs> just drop it. We need to think about how can we get out of here. We're in a crisis here. Why are you so calm? Operation True Love, episode 48. Ugh, there's no way. Oh, no way other than through here. We're only on the second floor, but it's still too high to jump down. But all the other windows and doors are locked from the outside. This is our only means of escape. Hmm, am I overreacting? I might break something. Do you want to get out that bad? Uh? <sighs> Why is he looking at her like that? That's a little bit too intimate. Back, 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 back. I don't. Uh... <laughs> How can you joke right now? Ugh. And I think you mean to say you can't get out, not that you don't want to. No. Don't make me laugh. Uh, what the? Huh? Pure darkness. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Now the lights are off too? Uh, this can't be happening. Sometimes there are things that shows themselves better in the dark. Do we really have to spend the night here? Like, the painful truth? That was my dad. Huh? At the ar arcade the that day. Oh, that man. And I have three part-time jobs. I'm not particularly insightful, but... But that random statement, I know that he's sort of confessing right now. Why did you hide from your dad? I thought your family was loaded. Why do you need three jobs? And why be so discreet about it? And if that's the case, how are you always wearing such nice clothes? All the kids are saying how expensive your shoes are. Did your family suddenly go bankrupt? Or was it all just a rumor? Also, why are you telling me this? I had so many questions, but I didn't dare a ask any of them. Uh, oh, um, and what I eventually said was, 
You don't really look like your dad. Oops. I mean, I'm not saying that your dad's not good looking. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't really looking for a response. I was just curious what you might say if I told you this. Uh, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I don't know when Doa and I became comfortable enough with each other to share secrets, but... My boyfriend cheated on me with my friend. This was the only secret I had that came close to Doa's. So I said it anyways, even though I knew he was already aware. How did you know that I was asking about my sister? Then Doa told me that his three jobs were at the barbecue restaurant, dry cleaners, and convenience store. And that if he wanted to hang out with his friends, he has to miss work three days a week. He even told me which of the three jobs was bearable and which was hardest. He told me all those little details. And as if to respond to his confessions, I told him my stories too. That I found out about Ryan and Minu when I saw them kissing. And since that incident, things have been awkward with Ryan that my parents were slowly beginning to worry. I was the one who dumped Minu, but it felt shitty like I was the one dumped. We told each other our secrets as if we'd already established some set of ground rules. And before I knew it, a lot of time had passed and... Hey, Doa, I need to go to the bathroom. I really had to go. Dignity. Imagining what it might be like to have to go to in the have to go in the classroom. Uh, goodbye, my dignity. Oh, what should I do? The, huh? Oh my gosh. Uh holy crap, Doa! She, oh, oh. Um O M G. What did I just hear? Doa? Uh, you didn't fall, did you? <laughs> Hold on, I'll be up soon. Uh, it's not that urgent, okay? I don't... He... Did he really not leave on purpose? Uh, wow, I really thought I wasn't going to make it home today. <laughs> what a relief. Freaked out because she thought she'll have to deal with her period in there. Woo, slightly burst. Let's go. It's so late. Man, it's creepier at night. Hey. Huh? Uh-uh. <gasps> so creepy. <gasps> oh. She has to carry him out? Oh my gosh. Hey. Doa, you're a lot heavier than, heavier than you look. <sighs> oh. 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 Look. Oh. Oh. I can't go any further. Hey, I'm a patient. Let's take a break. Just a small one. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Are you tired? Am I tired? <laughs> You're a lot heavier than you look, you know. Maybe you got have some hidden layers. <laughs> really? Hidden layers? <laughs> hey, look. I won. <laughs> oh, forget it. No, I mean it. Look, I need to prove that you're wrong. Prove what? Uh, 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 ee! hey, cover yourself! <laughs> right now? Wait a minute. Ch oh, completely fine. Hey, what the heck? Were you faking it? Oops. <laughs> 
Get over here. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, man. Huh? Why are you so funny? <laughs> the sky turned dark and there was nobody else on the school field. And the night air was slightly chilly. My skin felt cold, but my breath was hot. And the secrets we told each other hung in the air. Uh, when I first met Doa, you're going to burn a hole in my face. I didn't think he'd ever make that face in front of me. We were trapped at school together after being put in the straggler class, but it wasn't a bad night. <laughs> Operation True Love, episode 49. Beep, 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 beep. Uh? Oh. Uh. Why are you coming out of my room? Where were you all night? Why didn't you pick up your phone? Uh. You couldn't be have been in class the whole time. Why were you in my room? Did you go through my stuff? Who were you with? Yinuk? Doa? It just seems like you've gotten real close with my friends. Mmm, <laughs> I would snap. Ah. <laughs> Ron was drawing a line. There's finally a line for me to cross, too. Like how you and Munu crossed my line. So, why do you care? Cause it feels like I stole them from you? Uh, if you don't have anything else to say, get out of my way. I'm tired. You shouldn't stay out so late. Huh? Your parents will worry. Why would someone who cares about my parents go do something like that? Huh? Just leave it. I'll fold today. It's fine. <laughs> I do it because I want to. What the hell? If she came in to bring my clothes, why didn't she say so? It just makes me look like the bad person. Clint. So why do you care? Because it feels like I stole them from you? She knows. Ding. Miss Kang, is Sue still not home yet? She's not picking up. I'm worried. She just came home. I think the teacher confiscated her phone. <laughs> Claire. Scratch, scratch. You guys are dating, right? Huh? Just be honest, it's obvious. What? We're really not. That's a lie. Doa, why are you so quiet? It's making me even more suspicious. Why would I answer your ridiculous question? You're going to finish late, right? Should I come pick you up? I'm fine. He's going to walk me home. <laughs> what? Ugh. What do you think? My hairs. Uh. Oh. Clack, clack. She's jealous. Hey, Yuyuk, want me to set you up? Dun dun. No. Shut up, Guangmin, and piss off. No. Uh, why not? You should meet her at least once. She's totally your type. She's tall, has long hair, and is very mature. Dun dun. The complete opposite of me. Oh. Who said that's my type? But you like Ryan, didn't you? I see now that w that was his type. <laughs> what are you? Anyways, just look. She's really pretty. She's dying to meet you, you lucky bastard. Phew. She does look kind of look like Ryan. They got similar styles, but Ra, Ra M is way more... No, no, no. What am I saying? 
She wants to go on a double date. Please, my friend's really begging me. Nah. Oh, man. Help a friend out once, please. Ugh. Fine, never mind. You got no sense of loyalty. I guess you're not interested in anyone, not even on Raw M's level, huh? Hey, drop it. That's right, Yunyu did like Ryan. He liked her, then liked me? Is that even possible? Yunyu increased my love points. <laughs> now that I think about it, just because he kissed me doesn't mean that he likes me. The kiss could have been just a spur of the moment thing. I can't say he likes me just because of that. Ugh. I guess I was being overly confident. Huh. So one, I'm very curious on what Raw M is writing on her, in her journal because that was a lot of intent writing. But at the same time, I wonder what she's feeling and thinking about. Is she now wanting to be close to Yunyuk and all her friends? just to like rub it into like Sue's face like oh yeah Doa and Yunyuk is my friend and you stole him from, from you stole them from me and I'm gonna get back at you I don't know Ra M is kind of interesting because like one she did make out with you know Sue's boyfriend which is Minu but like you know she does she does a lot of mischievous things that is like crossing the line of like friendship I don't know, man. She's she's kind of a... Not even like a snake would be fitting. Like, that's insulting to the snakes. She is just... Oh, a crocodile. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!